Barakatha Yahawa, Bahasham Yahaba Shai, double honors to all the elders in the GMS, double honors to the elders of GMS, Salakia, for showing me this great truth and pumping out this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity. Honors to all my brothers in the four corners, pumping out this truth with uh, long suffering and longevity. I'm going to get into um, basically um, Sirach chapter 30. And this is how we treat, this is how our fathers should have treated us. And this is how the elders treat us because they are our fathers. That's what an elder is. Is a father-like um, individual, a male who is a father. You know, he's an elder, which means he's already been through this stuff before so he can show you the ropes. He that loveth his son causes him off to feel the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. He that chastises his son shall have joy in him, and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. He that teaches his son grief, the enemy, grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall receive, he shall rejoice of him. Now, if I teach my son the truth about himself, how is it going to grieve the enemy? Because then, when somebody says, "Oh, you're black," my son will be able to say, "No, I'm not. I'm a Hebrew Israelite." And not only am I a Hebrew Israelite, but you're Edom. Or you're you're a Moabite, you're an Ammonite. That's going to grieve who? The enemy. The enemy is who? All the other nations, plus two thirds of my own people. Though his father die, yet he is as though he were not dead, for he hath left one behind him that is like himself. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him. And when he died, he was not sorrowful. He left behind him an avenger against his enemies, and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. He that maketh too much of his, own, of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his bones will be troubled at every cry. Meaning what? Meaning if you go ahead and, and don't chasten your son, when your son finally gets hit, what are you going to do? He's going to cry like a little bitch. That's what it's stating. It's stating to harden up your son. When your son messes up, don't laugh at his mess up. Scorn him so that he does not mess up. He doesn't think that messing up is good. Right now, two-thirds of my people are thinking that being a dumbass is good. Being stupid and being followed is good. And that's not true. But they don't know. They think that herb is bad for you when herbs are actually good for you. But you listen to who? You don't listen to the Most High. And horse not broken becometh headstrong, and the child left to himself will be willful. Cocker thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. Laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him, and lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Give him no liberty in his youth, and wink not at his follies. Bow down his neck while he is young, and beat him on the sides while he is a child. Lest he wax stubborn, and be disobedient unto thee, and so bring sorrow to thy heart. Chastise thy son, and hold him to labor, lest he lewd behavior in an offense unto thee. Bitter is the poor bringing sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that has afflicted in his body. Yeah, that's point. That's, that's, that's case in point right there, man. It's self-explanatory. Better is the poor, being sound and strong of, of constitution. What's the constitution? The constitution reacts to the fact that Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai's word, his testimony, his promises, that he will bring us out of the land of Egypt again. This is the land of Egypt, America. Okay. It's not for everybody. It's only for one-third of Israel and 144,000. Everybody else, you're done. But that I would like to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Double honors to all my elders in the GMS, and honors to all my brothers in the uh, honors to all my brothers in the four corners, pumping out this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity. Shalom.